Welcome back to the channel, my name is Avon, welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stau at Bucharest. Today we've got the second leg against CSKA Moscow, it's the second round of 16 in the Europa Conference League and we have a healthy 3-0 lead that we're taking in Russia. Going to be a tough trip, but we'll see if we can hold on to that and get through to a quarterfinals. Uh, we're also going to play a cup game a bit later, so quarterfinals against uh, you cry over. So two games today, hopefully we get good results in both of them. If you're enjoying the series, drop a like down below and leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications and we'll jump straight into it. Uh, so last episode, we knocked out Club Bruges in the first knockout round. We overturned a 4-2 deficit from the first leg and won 2-0 at home to send us through on away goals after a 4-4 draw on aggregate. Uh, Nigar playing up front because Lukic was injured, Martina getting the goal there as well. And then we went straight into the first leg of the next knockout round. Uh, we drew CSK in Moscow and won 3-0 in the first leg. Pavelka, Niga and Martina got the goals. And we're looking in a really good place. Hopefully we can hold on to that as we go into the second leg. We did have a game off camera against Kindia Targavise, which we won 2-0. And Niga got both goals. He scored on the 37th minute to make it 1-0. And then he scored again on the hour. Uh, George Young with the ball here. Nedelea to Pavelka. And then Gabriel Thomas sent through Niga with a good effort. And it was a 2-0 win and it was pretty comfortable. Didn't really put too much wrong here. So before we go into the Moscow game, let's have a brief look at the table. We are four points behind Vitorol, but we do have two games in hand now. and uh, Six to go in the league. So we're looking in a good place. And we're seven clear of Cluj uh, as well with those two games in hand. So if we win both of those, then we will hopefully go too clear of Vitorol. And hopefully we can extend that as we go into the championship group again. Well, we won, we won our title back this season. We missed out last year. Uh, had a really bad end. So hopefully this time around, we can get that title back. I don't know if you recognise the shirt. Um, I've kind of treated myself this past month or so. I bought Liverpool's new away kit, which is up there. And I really, really like it. Uh, and I bought the Football Manager limited edition shirt as well. The... Uh, the, the war child TikTok sort of crossover thing. I really like it. And seeing as I didn't win one of the normal FMFC ones or get given one, I thought I'd buy one myself. It was expensive, but it's for a good cause. It's for war child. So, um, yeah, I decided to get one. They're very limited. They only made 500. Really like it. So uh, I thought I'd get one. Anyway, into the second leg against CSK in Moscow. I think we might need to make one or two changes. Yeah, Martina's not really fit to play. He's got a bit of a knock. Uh, just a slight groin problem. I think we're going to bring on Din, but I think we're going to put him in Toma's position and just drop Toma back a little bit because he is left footed and I think would fit into that Mitzala really well. We just need to make sure we keep our performances up and don't get complacent. And we'll be through to the quarterfinals and I guess we'll find out who we're going to take on in that um, after, the after the game, assuming we go through. Um, there is a cup game after this, but that might get put back again because of the, um, because of the European stuff because... The quarterfinal may well be, you know, straight away. I'm not quite sure. But here comes Sigurdsson for CSK Moscow. Very wintry conditions here. Uh, last time we played a game like this, it was uh, a nil-nil draw that we had against, I think it was Astra. Very similar conditions. So hopefully we do okay. We do seem to do badly in the snow, but I think that's because of our, our playing style. We play like short passing and that's not really suitable in, you know, snow. I'm not sure if we actually have snow here, if it's something else. But CSK Moscow, oh, hit the bar there. Close. And now they've got a free kick. And Kray has come forth to claim that. He's better than Erez. Like, he's better than Goran Erez was for us. And he's younger as well. Um, oh, that's a mistake. Nigo might be through here. Fourth minute. And it's a great um, block by Longlet. Good tackle. He missed the header, but he managed to recover it. Now we've got a throw in a good position. Haxi to Nedelea. And Pavelka wins the header over the defender and puts us 1-0 up in Moscow. And that's now 4-0 on aggregate. And the away goal is important as well. Moscow will now have to score four to get through five. They need five now because we have an away goal, which Moscow didn't manage to get. So they now have to score five. So yeah, that's a really, really good start. And Pavelka won the header. Bullies the defender pretty much. Really impressed. It's a good switch for Sigurdsson. Um, he's going to maybe go all the way himself here. Although he's had to go back again to Mori. Here's Adams. Mark Rocker to Shalov. Obliakov. And, oh, that's a great finish. And Fedor Shalov uh, gets the equalising goal for Moscow. Um, I feel like they've got too much to do. Like I said, they need, they need to score five goals in this game now that we have that away goal. So I'm hoping that we've, you know, given them too much to do. But we just need to make sure we keep our performance levels up. Shalov gets the goal there. It's 1-1 on the night, 4-1 on aggregate to us now. 
This highlight is straight from kickoff, so hopefully this will be a nice swift reply for us. Mahaxi takes it past the left back, and he could set up Nigar here. And it's Pavelka at the far post gets another goal. And that's now 2-1 on the night and 5-1 on aggregate. And yeah, I feel like we did enough in the first leg. And hopefully here we can we can win the second leg as well. We're 2-1 up, Pavelka scores. And that's five now. So Moscow now having to score seven goals. Um, six goals, sorry, to get through. So yeah, we should we should be okay. We I really hope we do we don't mess this up. We can't, surely. I would say though we're giving away a lot of possession in this game. So I'm gonna drop it back to balanced. Just because we're not having as much of the ball. So positive doesn't really work. Because Stanza has picked up a knock. I think we're just coming up to half time. So I think we will bring him off at half time just to prevent any further damage. Um bruised knee. So he might miss a bit of game time. We'll have to wait and see. But here's Obliakov to uh, Adams. And there might be something late on in the first half here. It's the third minute of stoppage time. Here's Longley. And uh, Costanza does well to win the header there. I mean, he might do more damage to his knee if he's going up for headers. If he lands awkwardly on that knee, that could be bad. Uh, that's a good ball up to Shalov. And a good save in the end by Cryu. Let's bring off uh, Costanza then. I didn't put um, Zubile on the bench. So Basiste will go to right back. And Iranzo is going to come on. To play alongside Manalake. Din hasn't really offered too much in that cam spot. Um, I'm going to swap him around. I'm going to put Toma there and bring Din back. See if that does better maybe. Throw in for the Russians here. Loser back to Mori. And the cross. And it's uh, N Naziri. Who equalises on the night for Moscow. That's now 5-2 on aggregate. They've now brought on Timo Werner. Um, but I, I feel like we've done enough. They need to score another four goals in these last 25 minutes. And, like, they might get one, they might get two. Four, surely that's asking too much. But Cosmindin hasn't played well, so we're going to bring him off. And we're going to bring on Usman Morong in midfield. Last 10 minutes of the game, and it's still 2-2 on the night, and we lead 5-2. Here's Pavelka to Gabriel Toma. And it's Morong. Hasn't seen too much involvement in the first team this season. Very much lost his place to the other midfielders. Here he is, though. Toma back to Nedelea. And here's Morong. Toma to Bavelka. And just couldn't find a way through there. But we're going to try again. Here's Mahaxi to Toma. And Mahaxi might get his first goal for the club here. He doesn't, though. Machado does well to make the save. We want to try and win this game if we can. There is a chance we could do that. Here's Nedelea to Toma. Back to Nedelea. Morong. And Mahaxi. Assist maybe. Can he get something? It's Nedelea. And it's Pavelka at the far post. Is that a hat trick? Did he get all three goals? I'm not quite sure, but it's 3-2 on the night. Is that his hat trick? It is. He's got all three goals. 3-2 on the night, 6-2 on aggregate. And hopefully we can hold on and win the game in Russia. That would be really, really good. And uh, yeah, Pavelka with a really good performance. Nedele with the ball and then Pavelka. He's been really good in the year. I think all three of his goals might have been headers. I might be wrong, but I know at least two of them are. Very impressed. And that's full time. We win the game. And that's full time. We win the second leg 3-2. Really impressed. It's a 6-2 win on aggregate. Really, really good performance there. And a hat trick from our left winger Pavelka. So let's see who else is going to be joining us in the quarterfinals then. We have Ghent who knocked out Oziek. We have Munch and Gladbach, one of the favourites, I think. Uh, we have Rijeka who we could face again. They were in our group. Uh, Stardery knocked out Utrecht. Arsenal knocked out Celtic with a 4-2 win. Uh, AC and Milan are going to be tough. They beat Basel and Trabzonspor. There's some good teams here. I think it's going to be a tough draw, whoever we get. But hopefully we can avoid, like, Munch and Gladbach and AC Milan. Because, like, Munch and Gladbach have won this competition before. Milan are good. Um, Arsenal, they've just won 4-0. So they're going to be tough to beat. Quarterfinals are on the 5th and the 12th of April. Okay, so they're not for a little while then. It looks like we've got a little break until we get to the quarterfinals. Okay, yeah. So we, we can get through a bunch of games before we get there. Okay, I accidentally drew all teams. I wanted to do an automatic draw, but I misclicked. We've got Rijeka again. Um, we didn't beat them either time in our group. Now we're going to face them again. Great. If we do get through, it'll be Trouson Sport or Stard Ream. We've avoided the big sides. We've avoided Milan and Gmenchen Gladbach and Arsenal. We've got a good bracket. 
Still going to be tough games, but Rieka, hopefully we can get a bit of revenge on them. They absolutely FM'd us uh, in that one game. We didn't beat them at home, and then away from home, we dominated and didn't come away with anything. Look at this. 23 shots, 7 on target, XG 2.8, and we lost 1-0. Uh, and they had a red card after less than 10 minutes as well, and we couldn't beat them. We didn't even get a draw. So hopefully things go a bit better this time around. So it's going to be Rieka. It's not going to be for a little while. Um... At least in game time. It might be next episode if I can get through all these games off camera. But we've avoided some good sides there in the bracket. So I'm hoping that we can get another good run going. Like Rick is going to be a difficult one. But we'll try and get through. And then after that. Was it Traps on Spore and Stard Ream? Um, it could be good. That, could, that, that seems like a much better draw than we could have got. So we've all got a good bracket. Hopefully we can do well. So looking at coefficients. We're doing really, really well. We got 9.1 last season. This season we're on an 8.8. .8. And it looks like we're going to be overtaking Greece um, at the moment, at the very least. So that would be good. And we're close to Austria as well. Austria have dropped off. So we'll see if we can maybe pass them. So hopefully we can jump at least one more place in the coefficients. And if we do, that means the winner of the league will get a buy into the next round of the Champions League qualifying. At the moment, we'd go into the first qualifying round. And if we, um, if we get another place in the coefficients, we'll go into the second round. I think we kind of need to help the teams around us a bit as well. You know, it, it's almost turning into a building a nation because it's going to be very hard to win the Champions League, the ultimate goal of any series, if you start all the way in the first qualifying round. So hopefully we can rise up the leagues a bit and, you know, hopefully play fewer games to get to it. That's going to be the idea, I think. So we've got the cup game. It's against Ukraine, who are in the third tier. Uh, they're very similar um, to Stal Bucharest in that they were a sports club that restarted their football division. And again, they've got a lot of um, arguments with University Tatic over here in the first division about who owns the history and who owns the honours. So very similar story to that of Stour and FCSB. So we'll be big favourites for this one. Hopefully we can do well. Um, does maybe give me a chance to to maybe make a few changes and rotate. Uh, Manalake suspended, so we'll bring Iranzo in. Nedele is tired, so we'll bring in oh uh, Morong's is Morong fit to play he did pick up a slight knock but it looks like he'll be okay to play so we'll bring him in to start we'll bring on Petre on the right wing we'll give him a game we'll bring Zubele in at right back I'm gonna give Sergin Goran full start at left back Martinez back in at um, the Mizala Toma will replace Din who will put onto the bench I think I'll just include goals and maybe one or two other bits in this and just make it a bit of a shorter package uh, just because it's third tier versus first tier. We should be winning this. And I don't want the video to go too long either. The first 20 minutes, there hasn't been anything that's happened. But Martinez cleared it. His Niga to Toma and his Pavelka. If this doesn't matter in the goal, then I'll leave it out. But it looks like it might be a goal. niga has got the ball. Oh, it's a good save though. He's got it back. Uh, we'll stick with it. Is that going to be a penalty? No. Okay. Free kick. Kose. It's gone out for Georgiev. That's a blocked cross. And here's Martina. And a possible break on the cards here. We've got yellow shirts. Well, they were on the way forward. They kind of stopped. Martinez still going, though. Petre. Not had too many chances to shine for the team, but he will do in the future, I'm sure. Here he is. It's Nigar. What a strike. Catalin Nigar gets a goal. 1 0. Uh, really nice finish. I think he's got six now, which is really good. He did score early in the season in a uh, European qualifier when we were well on top. Um, we rotated a lot, so he, he scored then, and then, say, recently he scored a lot more goals. And there's another one on the edge of the 18-yard box, a nice strike, and we lead 1-0 in this cup game. Toma is struggling a bit, so he's going to come off. We'll bring Din on for him. It's just a straight swap, that is. Din. And Martina. I mean, he almost cleared that. I don't know what he was doing there. Nidalea. Zubile. And Nigar gets it. 2-0. And he got both goals. 88th minute. No, it's not going to count. <laughs> Damn it. Full time. It ends 1-0. Pretty underwhelming game, but we've got through. That's fine. Semi-finals in the cup. And we're going to be taking on Cluj in that semi-final. So that's going to be in both legs after the Rijeka games. So no league stuff happening today. So we haven't moved, although some people have played their 27th game, meaning that we have three games in hand on some sides. And the next live come will be um, the first leg against uh, Rijeka in the quarterfinals of the Europa Conference League. 
Hopefully we can get a bit of revenge on them after they uh, avoided defeat against us both times in our group. And a draw at home and then we got FM away from home. Hopefully things go a bit better and we can get through to the Europa Conference League semi-finals. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. And next time, uh, we'll get through a bunch of league games off camera and we'll come back for Rieke once again. Can we get something away from them this time? Can we knock them out? We'll have to find out. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.